Things. It will get a lot louder in the in the 188th Wing National Guard base in Fort Smith very soon. Yesterday it was announced the base will house those F-16s and F-35 fighter jets from Singapore. This will happen by the uh, by 2023. Five News reporter Bailey Devane spoke with locals and city leaders about how this will change the dynamic of everyday life in Fort Smith. Fort Smith Mayor George McGill says the noise from the jets should not disturb homeowners near the base. After all, Fort Smith used to be home to other fighter planes back in the early 2000s. It hadn't been that long ago we had the A-10 Warthog. Fighter aircraft, again, are, are nothing new. We've housed fighter aircraft before, and they've never been an issue. There's still groundwork that needs to be done at the base before planes can arrive. But the 188th Wing has facilities readily equipped for fleets of fighter jets. Pre-planning, there's preparation made uh, to make sure that when the operation gets underway, everything will be in place. Airmen at the base say they already have facilities here that block sound so maintenance crews can work on plane engines quietly. But some residents say, bring it on. These neighbors to the airbase say they've missed the sounds of the fighter jets flying over their home. We, we love it. My, my dad, when, uh, when the pilot program left the last time, uh, my dad was he, he kind of sad about it. All my young kids love it too. <laughs> Airplane. So. <laughs> and locals are looking forward to seeing the people who will be traveling here from around the world and to show them what Fort Smith has to offer. Oh. Yeah, we just love it. You know, it's going to be such a positive experience in Fort Smith again. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. The F-16 planes coming in 2023. The F-35s are scheduled to arrive in 2026. According to the Fort Smith Chamber of Commerce, the new pilot training program could have an impact of up to $1 billion every year. You can read more about the big announcement on our website at 5newsonline.com.